Hello everybody! Did you see anime here today? We're to review Soul Leveling. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this. So, what is the story of Solo Leveling? Basically, it follows our main character Jin Woo, who, after finding himself in a situation, gains a unlikely ability that lets him level up in a world that has a bunch of dungeons and monsters and stuff like that. And he uses this new ability, which normally isn't really possible since people, once they have a certain level, can't level up. He now, since he has this ability to level up, he uses it to try to grow in the world and become the strongest out there. And yeah, that's not a great description, but we're just gonna roll with it. So, in terms of spoiler-free thoughts on this show, I actually really enjoyed it a lot. I wouldn't say it's my number one favorite anime, but I did enjoy it a lot. I thought there were lots of really great moments. I will admit that around halfway through the season, which originally was just getting better and better with each episode, after that, they just kind of had like a steady pace of pretty solid and overall good episodes, but none that really struck me as like best episode ever material. But even so, there are still episodes in there that I think are really good. And I think that there's just a lot of charm here that I really did enjoy. And it's one of the few rare times where an action show has got me hyped to just kind of see the fights. Normally those are just kind of like a, uh, I guess this is here, yeah, now, yeah, let's go, a, a fight, a fight, let's go, cool. let's go. But in this case, I actually did kind of want to see how these fights would turn out. Were all of them as I had wanted them to go? No, but at the same time, I did enjoy a lot of them overall. And I think that solo leveling has a lot of really nice elements there that get me to really freaking enjoy it. The characters are super entertaining. I like seeing all the different characters that our main character Jin Woo interacts with, all the different things he struggles through and stuff like that on his goal to slowly get stronger. Stuff like that is really nice. I enjoy a lot of the other elements such as how every single time Jin Woo does anything, it's kind of like this slow build up to show that while he's not quite strong yet, he is getting there. And I do like that it's not one of those instant overpowered abilities type characters since those can be entertaining, but it has to be gone about in a way where you fully know they're overpowered and you want to make sure that it's the most fun experience you can have where in Jin Woo's case he's he's not that strong yet it's something I really appreciate about this show since it gives me the chance to really just have a good time seeing him slowly grow up as well as interact with a bunch of characters in the world he's in as he just kind of goes through the world slowly getting stronger bit by bit while there are a few tragedies along the way and struggles that Jin Woo has to face but yeah overall I do think that there's a lot of charm to Jin Woo as a character I think that seeing him grow and change throughout the course of the season has been great and while I feel like the way the season ended was kind of iffy since it feels less like the end to a season and more like the end to a first core which I've already heard that season two is on its way so I'm glad to hear that but while the ending was a bit kind of eh I wish that there was a bit more to it instead of just kind of ending I still had a very good time with the overall build up and setup of everything, watching Jin Woo grow. And it made me happy to tune into every new episode every single week. There were lots of fun moments here and there, and I just had a good time. Not only that, but also there were lots of other really nice elements in there, besides just the awesome animation and other stuff. There's also other parts to it, such as the music. Now, I'm normally not someone to get over ecstatic about music, but there are times where I'm watching a show and some of the music does stand out. Some of the more noticeable ones for me personally are shows like The Eminence in Shadow, as well as Attack on Titan, which are shows that their soundtracks are so good, I just end up wanting to listen to those on the side as well, even if I'm not watching an episode, which in this case, it's the same thing with solo leveling. I really enjoy the soundtrack. I really like listening to it, which is why I sometimes pull it up to just kind of bop to the beat of some of them with one of my favorites being Dark Aria, which you, if you listen to it, you might understand, but I personally really like that one a lot. And also... There's other parts too as well I really enjoy, such as the characters around Jin Woo, where none of them are like super one dimensional. Each one has their own thoughts and feelings in the world. And while we don't dive too deep into them, since it's mostly meant to be on Jin Woo, like that's where all the focus is meant to be, I still like that all these characters go through things, have actual emotions, aren't just like these NPCs that interact around Jin Woo. I really enjoy how each person has a personality that you can kind of pinpoint and stuff like that. But yeah, that's all I can really talk about without going into spoilers, so we're just going to hop into the spoiler section now. Here's the timestamp of where the spoilers end. If you have seen the show, I recommend sticking around hearing my thoughts. If you haven't, you just skip to the end so getting spoilers. But if you have seen it, I recommend sticking around hearing my thoughts. So yeah, I'm going to count up from five and I'm going to enter the spoiler section. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So some stuff I would like to dive into that I can't really talk about without spoiling are things such as, for example, the system that lets Jin Woo level up. It's kind of like a gaming system where 
everything's kind of voice activated and stuff like that and honestly i think that's one of my favorite elements of this show since they could have just got like a generic like oh he fights enemies and he levels up but no they go into details like he gets extra bonus points he may get some loot boxes and stuff like that there's all these nice little details that really make you realize this is kind of almost like a video game here in the real world and i like that whole detail because it really gives you an idea that this isn't just a simple level up system there's way more to it than that and i really enjoy that aspect and made me really appreciate how it was designed since i remember when i first first was watching the first two episodes neither really grabbed my interest too much there were moments in them that kind of got my interest such as the last little bit of episode one with all the people dying stuff like that as well as episode two's overall mind games they weren't too bad i kind of got into them i didn't love them though it was when episode three happened and we got into the system and Jin Wu started interacting with them and stuff like that the things for me really started to pick up like episode three to episode four five and six as i said before are really freaking good. I love how each episode just seemed to get better and better, and I really did enjoy seeing Jin Wu's progression, as at that point in time, he was now strong enough to fight against a lot of other people, and even had to, for the first time in his life, kill other human beings, something he had never done before, and it was just really impactful, and I really enjoyed it, and it made me really excited to see how things would turn out, and then episode seven happened, which is where Jin Wu goes up against an enemy, which is said to be much, much stronger than him, just by the fact that the text on top of the monster that he was facing was red, which signified that it was way stronger than Jin Woo. Now, what I thought was going to happen here was Jin Woo was going to realize just how weak he was and teleport out of there and come back another time. But instead, he somehow defeats the monster. And when that happened, I'm sure most people were happy, like, yeah, Jin Woo, go Jin Woo. For me, it was like, really? He won? I mean, that's cool, I guess. If it was orange, it would have been a bit more entertaining. But because it was red, it just was a bit annoying to me. I, I know it sounds like a stupid complaint. I'm fully aware it's a stupid complaint. But I was kind of hoping this would be an awesome moment for Jin Woo to realize huh, he's not quite the strongest yet, since we just had something like that recently, and I really wanted him to be reminded once more that, yeah, he isn't the strongest yet. He still has a long ways to go, but that's not what happened. So it's like, oh yeah, by the way, Jin Wu, yeah, he defeated this giant monster that had red text, which usually means it's stronger than him. Yeah, he just casually did that, which for me, it was probably the weirdest part. Like, I just felt like it wasn't the best win in my book. There are times where those wins can feel a bit more earned, but in this case, it just kind of fell off for me personally but uh, that's just probably me I'm, I'm probably the only one who really didn't like how that fight turned out but moving past that I do think there are some fights in here that genuinely make an impact, such as the fight between Jin Woo and Igris, which is the final fight of the season, and, well, besides the boss rush type thing, well, not really boss rush, but, like, the rush of monsters in the final few episodes, that stuff, that was awesome. I was genuinely excited seeing how Jin Woo was gonna pull everything off, and the way he won might have been a bit cheap going for the eyes, but at the same time, I don't blame him for that, because it's something that's just kind of like, yeah, that probably was the only way he could have possibly won that whole situation. And then there's the whole thing with the Arise, which was cooler sounding from all the hype, because I was expecting it to be kind of like almost an a, I Am Atomic moment, like from the Eminence and Shadow, but it ended up being more of a, it, it, it's pretty solid. I still liked it a lot. I still think it was very good, just not as impactful, but it's still pretty good, because I was expecting kind of like a whisper to the audio, kind of like, Arise. But that's not what ended up happening. So it's still very good though. I do think that it was exciting and I'm very curious to see how he'll use that ability in the future. And yeah, but moving past that for now, the next thing I want to talk about is how this whole concept plays out. Like when I heard that it was going to be mainly Jin Wu leveling up, my here hurt. I mean, I assumed because that's how things were going at the time. I was worried that I would end up losing interest with all the leveling up by the end of the season, but that ended up not actually happening since from him killing the other people to him going against a lot of the other monsters i actually enjoyed it besides you know when i mentioned that one fight against i think it was sybaris i think that's the name the boss was but basically i just didn't really like how that one fight turned out but everything else absolutely loved it i loved seeing him slowly grind and push himself to his limits it was a really really fun thing to watch and i'm just glad that i decided to sit down and check the show out because i really did think that was a very just awesome part like I, I love the fact that he was able to level up and it didn't feel like a rush development like Kirito from Sora Online which no hate to Sora Online really do like that anime a lot primarily season three and the movie the other three seasons are just kind of fine enough but moving past that I really do enjoy seeing Jin Woo slowly grind himself toward getting to the 
highest point and we don't just skip straight to him being the strongest. I like that. Although I do admit that as the season kind of went on, there's never really been that many moments after episode six that really struck me as like the best all be all type thing. I don't even know if that's really a phrase, but basically after episode six, there was never a moment in the show where I just felt like this is the peak of peaks. Like even when I was watching the Igris fight and seeing Jin Woo go against him, I was never thinking like, oh, oh my gosh, oh no, Jin Woo. It was more like a, oh, okay, oh dang, cool. It was never like how I felt in episode six, where I was just staring in shock at seeing Jin Woo kill these people with just the epic music playing in the background. Just moments like that really do leave an impact. And then you have all these other fights where they're still good fights. However, the impact no longer really feels felt because we've already seen him go against so many other opponents that Igris is the only time I almost kind of felt that way because it was an intense fight. But other than that, it just kind of feels like Jin Woo is growing and improving. But at the same time, I feel like they were just kind of growing a bit more tiresome. I'm sure they're going to get back to being awesome again in season two. But for me, I felt like the rest of the season, while still very, very strong, and I still enjoyed it a lot, just stayed on that constant, like, this is good, but not great material. Like, it's stuff that I could see myself thoroughly enjoying, but I wouldn't say I would want to just spend all my time watching this show. There are other shows out there that I do enjoy a bit more, but just for completely different reasons. Just with this show in particular, with the way it gets me all hyped for some of the fights, I feel like it's one of those shows where I do enjoy it a lot. It may not be perfect in every way, because as I said, after episode six, things just kind of go on this whole line of pretty solid overall. I still think there's a lot of really good elements here and it does make me excited for season two. So yeah, it's just very enjoyable overall. And yeah. That's all really I have to say, so we're at the conclusion of this video. And one of my final thoughts, overall, I say that solo leveling is a good time. It may not be perfect, but I do think there's a lot of awesome elements here. I do enjoy Jin Woo as a protagonist, and I would love to see how things progress further in the story. I do want to see what kind of characters he interacts with, what kind of things he'll pull off, how overpowered he gets. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of that, and that's why I give solo leveling season one an 8 out of 10 very thrilling in a lot of moments and i do think that i would love to see what happens next with the bit of a cliffhanger ending we got at the end of the season and yeah that's all i have to say and thank you all for watching if you're new to the jgc anime channel don't forget to subscribe i also anime fans to the channel and i will see you all around peace